can see the road down here. Uh, we have been through a lot of constructions. There's a lot of heavy vehicles, uh, lorries that are speeding around. So this road in particular that we are on has a very high accident rate. Therefore, the touts usually will hang out here and on other roads similar like this. I didn't see a brick. Somehow I hit his car behind. Okay. He have a pain crack. The right. first car has a whole bumper drop off. Oh wow! Because it's my first accident, I panicked. Then one guy came out of nowhere, a middle-aged uncle. He came over across the road, across the highway jam, right. and gave a name card and said that if you follow me, I can settle all your claim. I can do everything. No, no headache, nothing. Follow me to the workshop, drive together. Because it's a very stressful situation, right? If you get into an accident, your mind goes blank, you don't really know what to do, and that's where Taubes come in to take advantage. This guy asked me, do I want to claim my car? I said, my car has no damage. Why am I claim, claiming right. my car? So oh, you can go and do up your car, make it nicer. I was like, I have no damage. So then I was quite skeptical how they report their accidents. If the workshop repairs the vehicle, they have full control of uh, how much the insurance claim will be. They do take into consideration the amount that they give out to the TOTS and they will actually calculate this into their insurance claim. How much do they jack it up by? Sometimes even by 200%. 200%? I've heard a few TOTS that say in a good month they can earn easily 20000 if they are out for money, there's only two ways to do that. And one is to inflate the insurance claims, and the other is to really minimise the uh, repairs for your cars. Do the repairs at a minimum cost. Lah. So that means they are not doing the re repair to the level that they need yes, to be Yes, correct. Yes, because they want to save money. Two months later, I received a claim. It's about 30 over 1,000. And at that point of time, none of them complained they had medical injuries. So we did not call the ambulance, but from what I saw, they actually did the maximum claim of each category. Okay. So you have medical claim, I think 15k or 10 over k bill. I filed a dispute and the reply I got was just, it was filed. You didn't come to us to do the reporting. You go to the third party workshop and they are authorised to submit the okay. claim. So I can't dispute the insurance company, they paid for that claim. My NCD got cancelled and then they charged me on my next year uh, premium. What was the premium you were paying? 1000 And then now? Now it's about 3 5 You've got to go through a lot of different processes to make sure that you can do the claims. First things first is, if you ever get into an accident, obviously is to check whether or not there are any injuries, get your IC number, your address, your name, company, vehicle registration number, and obviously is take photos. Take the other party's car, take the vehicle registration number, the date, the time, the location, everything. It's very strenuous, it's very taxing. Is there any way to make this simpler, to prevent victims being taken advantage of? <laughs> not at all, man. At least not that I know of, because it's all a step-by-step -step, um, process that we all have to do. This leaves my co-host Shrey one last thing to investigate. What the insurance industry is doing to address all these issues.